Binghamton was always this, you know, wonderful campus on the hill, and it was so amazing to see the transition of of the university coming into the community more in the last decade or so. It has really re-energized our community. In the last 10 years, we've seen a significant economic um, you know, forward momentum. The innovation that happens here, um, historically, it is a community that, you know, things that are made and done here change the world. I just love the history of the area. There's so many things to, that came through this region I work a lot with indigenous communities, like the Onondaga Nation. So, you know, as an anthropologist, I love that history. I love that social cultural history, of course. But also, I think because of that history, I mean, you continue to see vestiges and existence of, you know, the foods cultures around here are quite diverse from the folks who were coming from all over the world to work in the shoe factories, for example. There is something for everyone here. If you like the arts, the music, if you're into, you know, even politics or education, um, social clubs, I think you can find a space here. It really is um, pretty amazing to raise our family up here. You know, buying a house here versus New York City, you have the opportunity to own a home. Coming from our background, our families never owned a home. Yeah, we're the first, we're the first, first in our family to, to own, own a home. home. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a very big accomplishment and for Two New Yorkers from, you know, Latinos and, and coming from, you know, New York City. Lower to say, income. You know, yeah. yeah. You know, to say that you can own a home, that's a big thing for us. And I think that's what made us want to stay in the area, have more space, more more air <laughs> in that sense. You know? Fresh air. Fresh air. There are just so many places to hike, uh, so many mountains, uh, and in pretty good access of the Catskills and the Adirondacks. I found that this area really helps me to balance my own mental and personal well-being and really fulfill that wanderlust sense in myself. Yeah, I, I feel like I discover something new every, every, every weekend, really. Binghamton is so close to so many other larger cities. You're not isolated. So I like being able to be here, be at peace and comfort. And if I want to go and spend some chaos, <laughs> have some chaos, then I can jump in my car, go somewhere, and come back to my peace and quiet. You can live in a community that you can walk your child to school and a place where you can still leave your doors unlocked and still feel uh, safe. It's a burgeoning arts community, and that community has been really welcoming of somebody like me. I call myself a lay artist. It, it's allowed me to find a place where I felt like I belong, not even at, just at the university, but in the community at large. You know, I came up here from New York, and I was not sure that it was where I wanted to be. And I do actually remember my husband sort of saying to me, just check it out. And when I got here, um, my colleagues drove me around town. They wanted to show me what Binghamton was, and I had like the best drive with them. They were fun, they made me feel welcome. And what I would say about Binghamton and what my experience has been is I really like this group of people that comprise my life. The day-to-day -day stuff is about the friendships you make, the people who enrich your life, the conversations you have in the classroom with really smart students who share your values and want to make a difference with you. All that stuff, you know, makes for a pretty good day. 